Students, welcome back to virtual reality class. So for today lab session, we're gonna learn on how to learn a Google SketchUp model or 3D model from the Google SketchUp into a VZ. All right. So basically, a Google SketchUp is a free 3D model software that will help us to creating a 3D environment or 3D models. So if you don't have a Google SketchUp yet, so please install that Google SketchUp because we're gonna use that. And to link it with the wizard, right? So basically, the wizard and also the Google SketchUp is a powerful combo that can be used together to create a immersive virtual environment. All right. So yourself ready with the Google SketchUp and also the wizard installed in your laptop or PC. So let's get started. So I decided not to build my own environment, but instead I will go to the Google warehouse. Okay, so you go to the Google, and then type with the word Google warehouse. Okay, and then you will see on the result here there is a, the first one is a 3D warehouse. Okay, so I we go to this Google warehouse, and then I will find any 3D models that I'm gonna use for my environment. All right. Let's say, for example, today I'm I'm gonna use this as a uh, environment. I want to create an environment of the zoo, for example. So I will start searching on this 3D warehouse, okay, and finding the zoo environment, for example. Okay, so you click search, okay, and then you pop up this 3D model of the zoo. So you find. Or search any zoo environment that you think is suit in your project. Okay, for example, I'm gonna choose. Okay, let's find the the one that you think is gonna suit your environment. Okay, which one? Uh, I think I'm gonna use. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, from my example here, Zoo Logical here. So you need to download this. Okay, I just click this, and then I'm gonna click download. Okay, and then there are option here. Okay, whether you want to uh, save it as a SketchUp on which kind of Models. Okay, for example, I have installed my SketchUp 2019, so I'm going to choose the SketchUp 2019 model. Okay, and then it's going to be download. Right. So you wait until the download is complete, and then you will need to go to the downloaded file. Just now, it's download on my download folder here. It's this one. Okay. So. So we will need to open this downloaded file in the Google SketchUp. Okay, so let's open up in the Google SketchUp. Okay, so uh, inside this Google SketchUp, we're gonna look uh, how. Everything is look like inside this uh, Google SketchUp. Okay, so if you look and then uh, everything is okay. Okay, and certifies how it look. So we need to export this file. Okay, so just go to the file up here. Okay, and then you need to click at the export. Okay, select export and then choose 3D model. Okay. Okay, and then we ask us to to uh, save this file or where we gonna export this. So it is suggested to have a folder. Okay, to save everything in just one folder so that it can be used and accessed by the wizard directory later on. So please create a folder. For example, uh, wizard. Project. Okay, example. 
Okay, you need to save inside this folder. Okay, inside this folder only. And then please make sure that you choose the Colada file. Okay, because the uh, wizard is accepted Colada file and certain other file. So I will choose uh, as a Colada file. Okay, and then you can change the name if you think that the name is too hard because you will need to use the same name inside the wizard command later on so it is better to use the simple name okay so that you can not miss type this later on inside wizard command so i'm gonna change it into zoo the file name as zoo and then make sure it's called a file and then please click at the option button down here okay and then please make sure that you have things export two-sided faces and then you take export ages, you take triangulate all faces, and then take preserve component hierarchy. And then the last one is on the material. Please take at this export texture map as well. Okay, so number one, number two, number three. Okay, and then number six, and then number seven. Okay, so please take all of this option and then click OK. Okay, once uh, everything done in the option, so click at this export button. Alright, so now we have export this zoo environment into the Colada file. So we will need to open that Colada file inside Wizard Inspector. Okay, so we go to the folder that we just created at the desktop just now for the Wizard project. Okay, so this is the Polada file that we just created just now from the Google SketchUp. So we will need to open this in Wizard Inspector. Okay, not the Wizard, but the Wizard Inspector. So you just right click, okay, and then open with, and then you choose Wizard 6 Inspector. Okay, Wizard 6 Inspector. Alright, so this is the your environment inside Wizard Inspector. So you check everything is okay or not, okay, by using the mouse navigator here. Okay, you check everything is okay. You can zoom in, zoom out to see everything is okay or not. Alright, so you can okay, you can check it here. And then basically inside this wizard inspector is where you can change the texture. Okay, you can change the texture of uh, this environment on each of these. Okay, if you want to change this, change this, or change this, you can just change it here from this texture or this color. All right. So I'm not gonna change everything here. So uh, when everything you think is okay, we will need to save this zoo inside this inspector to be used in the wizard okay so what we need to do is that just go to the file okay save as and please make sure that you save in the same folder that we just created for this project okay please save inside the same file so you will see that the save here as a type of open scene graph okay as you know that wizard is accept the OSGB file okay so it's better to use dot OSGB all right so you need to save this to OSGB file okay I then file name is zoo and then the type is OSGB or open scene graph okay so just save in the same folder here okay make sure that you are safe in the same folder Okay, now we have just created the zoo.osgb. So now we are ready to use this inside wizard. Okay, so we need to go to the wizard software. All right, so let's open up your wizard here. So we need to start to code the wizard. So we need to create a file, new wizard file. Okay, and then please save this file in the same folder as well. Okay, please make sure that you save in the same folder because uh, we're going to access this 3D model of the zoo. So make sure that this wizard and also the zoo folder is in the same folder. Okay, so let's say I name it as a wizard zoo, for example. 
Okay, I save in the same folder. Click save. So now we are ready to code. So as usual, the first compulsory command is the import widths. And then we start go. Okay, you can find this in the example or tutorial. We start go and we start. This command is uh, we're gonna use this to load the environment. Okay, that's a child. Okay, here the parameter inside here is based on the names of our file. Okay, just now our file name is zoo.osgb, so we need to type exactly as the file name. Okay, zoo.osgb. Okay, and then let's try whether we have load this zoo.osgb properly or not by click at this one the screen okay forgot the bracket here okay let's try to run this all right so now we have load this environment okay the zoo environment into visit. Okay, let's see inside here. Okay, so now we have load this zoo environment. Okay, so this is how we load the environment. But you will see that is quite dark. Okay, the environment is quite dark. So let's add something so that is more interesting okay but basically this is uh is working for the importing the 3d model or 3d scene into your wizard all right so let's add some lighting okay not the lighting but it's the scene okay basically there are certain free scenes that are available inside wizard that you can choose in the tree documentation okay you can find out there for example here i'm gonna add the free 3d scene inside this wizard okay you can find out in the documentation for this one i'm gonna add the sky day all right sky day dot osgb okay this is the free 3d inside this wizard basically it will add the simple scene of the sky during the day okay and one more is you can try is sky night okay sky underscore night so that one is gonna add up the simple scene for the night time okay but for this sky day is gonna load the simple scene for the day time all right so let's see this effect okay sky day dot osgb Okay, so you see that now our environment has been added up with this skyday.osgb. Okay, it's not the dark environment, but it's added up with this skyday. Okay, together with this zoo environment that we have just adding up. Right? So basically, this is how we load the Google SketchUp model into VZ. So you can try it up with your scene, okay? So this is just an example of I using the zoo 3D scene and then I add it up in the wizard, okay? You can try your own with the free 3D warehouse. You can find any.